So welcome back guys, General Tony here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. So straight up, I told you in the previous video, we were going to do a gem spree and gem all the Night Village troops to max level. Unfortunately, I haven't been sent my gift codes yet guys, so I cannot do that, but it will be coming very shortly on the channel. It will probably be the next episode guys, so stay tuned, we will gem all troops to max level. But I figured, you know what? Why don't we go and check in on Captain Tony, and I completely forgot, we upgraded from Town Hall 8 to Town Hall 9 guys, so it is official, this is my new base. From a glance, it looks terrible, we look extremely rushed, we were almost a maxed out Town Hall 7 guys, but now of course we are Town Hall level 9, so I think it's time we started doing some upgrades and possibly max out Town Hall 9 by the end of 2017. So do me a favor guys, let me know down below in that comment section, what town hall level are you on the main village? Am I around, you know, a similar town hall level to the majority of people watching this episode? So check it out, I've only just logged on. If we go into the shop, we got ourselves a town hall 9 value pack, 6 times value. We will be purchasing that probably in one of the next episodes guys. Gets an Archer Queen and Expo and 1200 gems for $9.99. Inside of the army, we can unlock the dark barracks, of course. We've got new defenses, and we've got some more resources to collect. And uh, I think there's loads of other stuff as well, so let's do this. Now, obviously we are extremely rushed, guys, and uh, it's going to be extremely hard to try and recover this base, but I think it's going to be rewarding. We'll make some great content on the channel, and of course, we've just unlocked the Archer Queen. So it really is going to be a great couple of months, great couple of weeks, on the Captain Tony account as we try and max out Town Hall 9 and uh, eventually, hopefully by the end of 2017, become Town Hall level 10. So I'm just going to go in here and quickly clean up as many of these uh, these bushes and trees and stuff as possible. And what we're pretty much going to do, we're going to start our journey to maxing out this base. So let's just do this now. We'll clean up the rest after the episode is over. But there we go. We got ourselves a gem box as well. Into the shop. We currently got five builders free. So let's see what we can afford. We can't afford an Archer Queen, of course, she's too expensive. We can afford these new defenses, guys. They're extremely cheap, so let's go back into defenses. We've got ourselves a total of 50 more walls, so that's awesome, guys. Let's see if we can just build these all. Hopefully, we can just put all the rest of them here. Here we go. So that's going to take us to, I believe, 250 walls in total. And there we go. Okay, so all walls are now officially built. Now, if you think this was the right decision to make, guys, to go to Town Hall 9 and, you know, make the episode a little bit more fun instead of staying at Town Hall 8, we've unlocked the Archer Queen. If you think I made the right decision, smash a like on the episode. And please don't forget, if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Join us on this journey as we max out the rest of this base and go to Town Hall 10. So check it out. Air Defense, that's only going to take five hours, not too long. If we head off into the defenses, we can also get ourselves a new Wizard Tower. And if we scroll along even further, we've got quite a lot of options, guys. We've got an air sweeper back into the fences. I saw a giant big bomb there, I believe. Yep, there we go, guys. Going to put that straight down. And uh, I think we've just run out of gold. So we have... Oh, here we go. Seeking air mine. we got two of them. That's awesome, guys. And we still got 186,000 gold. And if we scroll all the way to the end... We've got our first expo, but of course we're going to purchase that with the Town Hall 9 value pack. I think you get two expos at Town Hall 9 if I remember. Let me know down below guys, is it two expos at Town Hall level 9? So now obviously what we need to do is upgrade this research center to level 7 I think we can upgrade it to. And uh, we also need to upgrade the spell factory, unlock the Archer Queen, and uh, do loads of other great stuff. Now check this out, damn! Take a look at that guys. Wow. Okay, how much loot's inside of here? 1.4 million gold and elixir. I thought I ran out of gold and elixir, but it looks like we got a lot more. Let's grab a screenshot of that. I might use that for a thumbnail, guys. That is unbelievable. Have you ever seen so much loot, guys? The villagers actually trying to steal my gold, but um, let's, let's get one more screenshot of that just in case I want to use it for a thumbnail. But there we go. Collect that. 1.4 million gold and elixir and of course almost 3,000 dark elixir wow okay so back into defenses i believe we can actually build that tesla tower guys and that's going to take us to four builders so we got a single builder free 
Gonna use him to maybe chop down some bushes and stuff. But let's do an upgrade on the laboratory, guys. That's also gonna take four days. And that pretty much covers every single one of my builders. But there is gonna be an upgrade finishing in... What is it? That is an air sweeper. Air defense gonna take five hours, not too long. Wizard tower, 12 hours. And the hidden Tesla, 12 hours. Sorry, 24 hours. And then, of course, the laboratory is gonna take... twin. Uh, what is that? Four days, sorry. Four days. Okay. So we've got 600,000 gold left guys, 750,000 elixir. Let's see what there is. So taking a look around the base, we're gonna go in for a live attack and we're gonna see what it's like when you are kind of like an extremely rushed town all nine and take on some live bases guys. So let's start this journey off. Hopefully we don't find it too hard and you know, just only find town all nines. Here we go, that's great. That This is, this is nice guys. It is a town all eight. And uh, it's offering a decent amount of loot. So let's try and take this down. Let's see if we can triple star this as an extremely rushed Town Hall 9 with a Town Hall 7 army. Can I three star a Town Hall level 8, guys? So we're going to attack from... We're going to come in from the left-hand side just over here. So let's use two giants to distract and we'll drop in a couple of wall breakers just to get us through those, uh, those walls. And then... We're going to use a couple of archers just to pick off these buildings and make ourselves a beautiful cheeky little funnel. So let's just drop in a couple more just along the wings, maybe going with two wizards as well. And we're going to do the same on this side, going to drop in a giant to distract and the rest of the archers just going to get chucked down. So now we're ready to go in for a full scale attack, guys. Let's begin the operation. Here goes the giants, the wizards and of course the other hog riders going to go in just behind, going to drop in those wall breakers as well. And we're going to use our first heal spell very shortly to keep these hog riders alive. Damn! We already hit a giant big bomb and that took out every single one of my wizards. Not really a great start, guys. I'm not going to lie. But there goes a rage spell. Let's see if we can get these uh, these goblins in on the base now as well. We're going to send in the goblins. The dude is actually spectating the base, guys. And uh, he's watching his defense kick my butt. So our Barbarian King is under serious trouble here. Let's use his ability, guys. He's going to take out the Defending Barbarian King. BK has been used. His ability has been activated. And it looks like we've suffered a crushing defeat. But we still managed to get a little bit of loot, guys. So it hasn't been too bad. And uh, we've got ourselves a 35% zero star so far. Can we close in on a one star? I don't, I don't really think so. We're, um, we're kind of getting wrecked here. But it's cool. Not really too serious, guys. Let's go back. And see if we can do any upgrades to any of our troops. So if we end the battle here, we got ourselves a crushing defeat, of course. Let's go back. Let's see what we can do. Can we upgrade any troops? So if we go into our barrack, guys, let's take a look at what we've actually got. Training of the troops. We got level 2 minions, level 4 wizards, giants, and all that other good stuff. And it's going to cost us to gem this, uh, this laboratory 629 gems now there's no real point in doing that because this is a gem free account as i said we are only ever going to buy the value packs every time there's a value pack we're going to buy it so we may as well not do that instead let's try and do some sort of new attack strategy which is hopefully going to help me out and uh you know grab me some uh, some more loot so we're going to continue to use hog riders guys this time we're going to increase it from eight to ten we're going to decrease the wizards to maybe six bring ourselves some archers uh, we're going to go for 30. We're going to use 20 goblins this time instead of 30, guys. And we're going to fill a couple of wall breakers. Let's go for six. And then the rest of the spaces are filled with hog riders and former archers. So that is our army. Spells, two heal spells, one rage spell, just like previously, guys. So let's gem up the entire army, grab ourselves the Barbarian King, and see if we can win a battle, guys. So as I said, we are Town Hall 9, of course. But, um... We're pretty much a Town Hall 7. We've kind of got Town Hall 7 buildings. Damn, check that loot. Yeah, that's a little bit too OP for us, guys. We're going to see if we can find a Town Hall 8, which is, uh, you know, looking a little bit easy. Or we could find ourselves a Rush Town Hall 9. And uh, I believe that is just what we've done. So, let's do this, guys. Let's see if we can defeat this base. This base is looking easy. I mean, if we can take this down for a 2-star, it shows us we have, uh, you know, got a lot of hope. And we can actually... Max out Town Hall 9 with no issue at all. Let's also take out this bomb tower, guys. I want this bomb tower to go down. And in fact, let's kill that Barbarian King as well. He's a bit of a pest. So here we go. Bob King, he's dead. He's definitely dead. And uh, we've got ourselves a lovely start, guys. So we're just going to pick up these buildings. I do want to guarantee a one star. And I also want to move up in trophies, guys. So 
Let's take out this BK. Let's use a couple more troops just to take it down the, uh, the wizard. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Final shot before the wizard was about to die. Takes out the defending barbarian king. Let's grab these collectors as well, guys. And uh, then we're ready to move in with a full-scale attack. So we're going to be attacking from... Let's hit it from the bottom of the base, guys. Let's see if we can take out these two elixir collectors here and do some serious damage. So we're going to use two giants to distract once again, just like usual. Giants are always a great distraction. Move in with the wall breakers. There go the remaining wizards and the giants and then the hog riders. We're going to send them in from the bottom kind of bottom middle side guys and then the uh the goblin's gonna go in just behind so there goes a heal spell and a rage spell plus the barbarian king's ability we're gonna keep the second heal spell ready to get activated as soon as these hog riders find themselves in a little bit of trouble but i'm hoping they're gonna find themselves in you know some nice easy position here making their way slowly around the base we're gonna drop down this other heal spell guys keeping these piggies alive remember they're only level one so they're not you know the most op our Barbarian King has just gone down, guys, but we got ourselves a one-star, and it looks like the Defending Golem has finally been destroyed. Now, we still got four archers. We're going to drop them in. Mr. Potter has connected onto the Town Hall, but it looks like he's going to die from that smelly little mortar, guys. That's kind of unfortunate. And in total, I think we grabbed about 200,000 Elixir, but I don't really think we got any gold. So that kind of sucks. But um, as soon as we do get these gems, as soon as I do get these gift cards, we are basically going to unlock and grab ourselves the value pack. That's going to grab us an Archer Queen, guys. And we're going to spend the rest of the gems inside of that, maybe upgrading the Queen a couple of levels. And uh, then we're going to start the farming, guys. So that's pretty much going to be the only gems we buy for Town Hall 9 will be the value packs. So hopefully you guys find that this is a little bit different to the main account. Obviously, it is extremely rushed. We've just kind of used all the buildings we can guys we've got five or six new defenses we're gonna make ourselves a new base design and we are gonna push up to maybe champions one sorry champions three as a town or nine rush base and see what kind of loot we can find there subscribe to the channel to join us on the journey as i said leave a like if you think it's cool guys and uh, let me know down below in that comment section what town hall level you are i'll see you soon guys have a great day peace out